stress. We all know what it feels like. It grips your chest, shortens your breath, and races your thoughts. At its worst, it's like trying to outrun a storm cloud that just won't leave you alone. We live in a world where stress seems to be constant whether from work, relationships, health, or even the sheer pace of modern life. Yet, hidden beneath the surface of all this noise and tension, there exists a powerful secret that promises freedom, the mystic law. This, mystic law, as taught in the Buddhist tradition of Nichiren Daishonin, holds the key to transforming stress into something far more profound, a deep sense of peace, purpose, and happiness. But how? To understand this, let's dive into the essence of this law and how it works its magic in our lives. The mystic law is encapsulated in the phrase, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This phrase is not just a set of words, but a profound mantra that unlocks the deepest power within us. The Lotus Sutra, one of the core texts in Buddhism, teaches that, Myoho Renge Kyo, is the ultimate truth of the universe, the essence of all phenomena. When we chant this phrase, we align ourselves with the rhythm of life, dissolving the barriers of stress and uncovering our inner potential. But this isn't just about chanting for a few moments of peace. The mystic law reveals a mind-bending secret, that stress itself can become the fuel for transformation. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, The greater the hardships befalling him, the greater the delight he feels, because of his strong faith. He didn't shy away from life's challenges instead, he embraced them. Why? Because he knew that by using the mystic law, even the deepest suffering could be transformed into enlightenment. When we face stress, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and powerless. But here's the twist. Stress doesn't have to be the enemy. In fact, it can be the very thing that propels us toward growth. Just as a lotus flower blooms in muddy water, we, too, can bloom through our challenges. This is the essence of the mystic law. Imagine your mind is like a pond. When stress strikes, it's like someone has thrown a rock into the water, causing ripples and waves. These waves are our emotions fear, anger, anxiety, frustration. If we don't know how to calm the waters, we can get lost in the storm. But through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we quiet those waves. It's not that the rock is taken out of the pond, but that the power of the mystic law transforms the entire pond. The ripples smooth out, and beneath the surface, something even more extraordinary happens. The rock becomes a source of strength. Buddhist teachings often emphasize that our challenges, when viewed through the lens of the mystic law, are not just problems to be solved, but are actually opportunities to unlock our true potential. The Lotus Sutra describes the Bodhisattva never disparaging, who, would bow to people and praise their Buddha nature, even when they mistreated him. He saw beyond their harsh behavior and recognized their potential for enlightenment. This teaching reminds us that, even when life feels unfair or others treat us poorly, we can see beyond the surface. Stress, in the same way, isn't something to run from but something to transform. Nichiren Daishonin experienced great persecution in his life. From attempts on his life to being exiled, his trials were overwhelming. Yet, through all of it, he never gave up. In fact, he wrote, winter always turns to spring. This isn't just a comforting thought, but a profound truth. Just as nature cycles from winter to spring, so too do our lives. Stress may feel like a harsh winter, but within it lies the potential for growth, renewal, and happiness. So, how does this transformation happen? It begins with faith faith in the power of the mystic law and faith in our own Buddha nature. The Buddha taught that each of us has an inherent potential for enlightenment, but we often can't see it because we're clouded by illusion, much like how the sky can be obscured by storm clouds. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we part those clouds and reveal the clear sky of our true nature. The Lotus Sutra teaches that the mystic law is not some far off, mystical force it's within us. The phrase, Myoho, or, wonderful law, refers to the deep, unchanging truth of life, while, Renge, meaning lotus flower, symbolizes cause and effect. Kyo, represents the sound or teaching. Together, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the ultimate expression of life's rhythm. By chanting it, we harmonize with the universe, embracing both the causes we make and the effects we experience. When stress arises, it's easy to feel like a victim. But the mystic law empowers us to take control. 
Nichiren taught that when we align our lives with this law, we can break free from the cycle of suffering. He wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life, and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This guidance is simple yet profound. Life will always have its ups and downs, but through consistent practice, we can maintain a state of unshakable peace. What's even more mind bending is that when we practice the mystic law, we begin to see that our challenges are exactly what we need to grow. Just as a muscle grows stronger through resistance, our lives grow more profound through the struggles we face. Nichiren himself wrote, The stronger one's faith, the greater the protection of the gods. Faith here doesn't mean blind belief, but a deep trust in the process of life, the mystic law, and our own Buddha nature. Let's think about a diamond. Before it becomes a sparkling gem, it's just a piece of carbon buried deep in the earth. It undergoes immense pressure and heat over thousands of years. It's the pressure itself that transforms it. In the same way, our stress and challenges are like the heat and pressure that shape us into the people we are meant to become. But how do we keep this perspective when we're in the thick of stress? How do we go from feeling trapped by life's problems to feeling blessed by them? The answer lies in consistent practice and a shift in mindset. Each time we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we remind ourselves that we're not just reacting to life's difficulties we're actively transforming them. And with time, something extraordinary happens, our perspective changes. Stress no longer feels like a burden, but like an opportunity. Gautama Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, once said, All that we are is the result of what we have thought. It is founded on our thoughts, it is made up of our thoughts. When we practice the mystic law, we don't just change our circumstances we change our minds. Stress, which once seemed so overwhelming, begins to lose its power over us. Instead, we see it for what it truly is, an opportunity for transformation, a stepping stone on the path to enlightenment. In the end, the secret of the mystic law is this, it's not about escaping stress, but about embracing it and transforming it. Life will always have its challenges, but through faith in the mystic law, we can find peace, strength, and joy in every situation. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? When we awaken to our own Buddha nature, nothing no amount of stress or suffering can hold us back. The mystic law is our path from stressed to blessed. It is the key that unlocks the full potential of our lives, revealing that every challenge is an opportunity, every struggle a moment of growth. Through the power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can transform our lives into something truly magnificent. And that, more than anything, is the ultimate blessing.